Well, you start getting a crop off like this wheat and already you're thinking about next spring and yep. what am I going to plant and what are my choices? When it comes to soybeans, there's more choices right now than ever. Yeah, there are. And I guess we've got a number of things that are going to be changing going into next year. Let's start with Roundup Ready 2 yield soybeans. We believe that the price of Roundup Ready 2 yield soybeans will be coming down, so they should be within about 4 or $5 an acre of the Roundup 1s. Now, if you can actually gain the 7 to 11% in yield, or let's say roughly around three bushels. If I can gain three bushels and only have to invest another four or five dollars, well that would be pretty good. Am I going to gain three bushels? I don't care about three <laughs> bushels. I don't care about seven to eleven percent. If I'm going to spend say five dollars more, I only need about a half a bushel more. Yep. Am I going to get a half a bushel more out of new technology that's several years ahead in the breeding process over Roundup Ones, I would be shocked if I didn't. Okay, now explain this several years ahead of the breeding process on Roundup Ones. Well, the breeders have been working on Roundup Ready to Yield beans for a number of years. To get a product to market, they've got to breed that product for at least four years. So the way I look at it is they quit breeding Roundup Ready Ones probably about four years ago and started breeding Roundup Ready Twos because that's the new trait, that's what everybody's going to want, or at least that's what the breeders thought at the time. So they started breeding Roundup Twos. So basically, if you're planting Roundup Ones now, there are no new varieties coming out. What's coming out is the varieties they bred four years ago. Yep. So now when we're getting Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans, we've got the brand new stuff that's probably four years ahead in that process. Why would you not want that and why would it not yield at least a half a bushel okay. more? Well, if it's so great, then how come this year it really struggled in the United States and they didn't sell many Roundup 2 beans? Because they priced them way too high. They knew they were only going to have enough beans for a small percentage of the market. So they thought, well, we've only got a small number of them. We'll price them fairly high. So otherwise, everybody will take them right away and then everybody will be disappointed that we don't have enough. So they priced them too high <laughs> and they got a little carried away and all of a sudden towards the end of the year they realized, wow, we're going to have some beans left. We better not get so crazy next year. And plus the other thing is there's going to be a lot more supply for 2011. In fact, for many seed companies, they've forecast at least 50% of their sales are going to be Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans. So that price is way down because the supply is going to be there this now, year. Now, the other thing that I kind of looked at is in 2010, there was a seed treatment requirement on those Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans. You had to put a full seed treatment package. So it was a Trilex 6000 or a Cruiser Max or an Acceleron, something like that that yeah. had fungicide and insect decide. That's a great cost, idea. It's a great idea, but the problem is it was a cost of about $10 an acre. So now when you were looking at Roundup 1s versus Roundup 2s, you saw, oh no, $20 difference. And a lot of people kind of forgot that there was that seed treatment component to it. All right. Well, there, there are a number of farmers across the country, and maybe you're one of them, that hasn't tried one of these seed treatments with the fungicide and insecticide portion, and in many cases, even a biological portion of that seed treatment. You get it all for 10 bucks. It's just a little over one bushel of soybeans. Let me tell you, from our own farm, we've had great results using these products from other well, farms yeah, but, around the but region. This is one of we've the seen deals, good results. Just a, just a few years ago, we told you here on the show, you know, I don't know if it's really necessarily worth it, but that's when soybeans are worth five or six bucks and when our yields were a little bit less. Well, the thing is now, soybean seed is getting so expensive. You want to protect every seed. And the soybean price has been pretty good. When you're getting nine or ten dollars a bushel, you only have to have a one bushel gain. Well, we're much more than getting that. Well, so and that's the whole thing. You've got to reanalyze these things every right. year. You can't that's say, well, point. last year Roundup 2 yields were too high priced for me, so I didn't plant them, so I'm not going to plant them next year. That has nothing to do with it. When we get into the next year, when we start planning for 2011, you've got to look at, all right, what are new crop soybeans? Have I locked any in? Oh, okay, I've got some $9 beans sold for my farm. Well, then every decision you make has to be based off that market price you've locked in. Now you've got $9 beans and you say, wow, I can do this great seed treatment that's probably going to add several bushels to my soybean yields and it only cost me one bushel? Okay. That's fantastic. But the thing is, in 2010, that seed treatment was included in your price. In 2011, it will not be with the Roundup 2s. So Roundup 1s and Roundup 2s, they're basically equal in terms of neither one of them has a seed treatment to it. The Roundup 2 should cost roughly around 4 to $5 a unit more. So it's going to be relatively close in terms of price. And with both of them, Roundup 1s or 2s, we would suggest you strongly take a look at this seed treatment option, but that would be an additional cost. Okay, now the other thing is where can you get Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans? Obviously, it's a Monsanto trait, so the Monsanto companies and Monsanto seed partners have got Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans. As of now, Pioneer does not have Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans. I know there's a lot of confusion because their new numbering system has some whys 
in yeah. those numbers. <laughs> those are not Roundup Ready to yield soybeans. That's completely different stuff. That is Roundup Ready 1 soybeans, just so that's clear. Now with another technology that's coming on the market, this is available through different sources, Liberty Link soybeans. The number one question we've always gotten on the Liberty beans is, well, do they yield like the Roundup beans? Actually, when you take a look at trials and even stuff we've done on our farm, we find that the Liberty beans yield similar to the Roundup beans, and in some cases, maybe even a little bit more. What do you think? Well, I think Liberty Link beans have great yield. There's no question about that. But you have to look at, all right, if I've, I'm going to use Liberty instead, or Ignite, Ignite, instead of using Roundup, I've got to manage them just a little bit different. Ignite's a different herbicide than what Roundup is. You can't let weeds get three feet tall and no, still but count the on you're going to blow. There are no Ignite tolerant weeds like there are Roundup tolerant or Roundup resistant weeds either. That's right. Now, the other thing with the Liberty Link beans that we've noticed up in the Red River Valley, we've got a lot of issues with high pH soils. The Liberty Liberty beans seem to handle it a little bit better. Even on our farm, the Liberty beans have looked a little bit greener in some of those areas where beans have typically yellowed in the past. that's probably just a variety thing, but it, exactly. yeah, it has shown up in exactly. the Liberty Exactly. Some beans. of the genetics in there handle high pH and salt situations just a little bit better than some of the Roundups that are used in our part of the country. Now, it may be different where you farm in group threes or fours or fives, but in groups zero, one, and two, it looks like they've been very strong in IDC and salt So tolerance. anyway, it's nice to at least have another option out there. So there are now a lot of Liberty soybeans in production. You should be able to find those just about in any state that you're in. Again, just as an alternative to Roundup beans. Well, either way you go, whether it's Roundup Ready to Yield or Liberty Link soybeans, we're confident you'll find good genetics for your maturities that you're planning on your farm. But I would caution you, whether you use Roundup system or Liberty system, you need to put a pre-emerge herbicide down. There are a lot of weeds that are gaining tolerance, especially to the glyphosate family of chemistry right now. You don't want to take any chances, put a pre down, control a lot of those small seeded broadleaf and grass weeds before they get up and both systems will be successful. Well, speaking of weeds, we have our Weed of the Week coming up next. Stay tuned.